Okay, we left off the last lesson with this beast, this mysterious one, x cubed minus 3x plus 2 over x plus 2, and found there that it could actually be a problem. Because everything I've been doing up to this point has been very nice with positive coefficients. This is the first one we've introduced with negative coefficients. So there's so some issues with this. For example, how do I even represent that top line to be divided by x plus 2? Well, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, let me just draw the boxes for it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Something like this. So I've got 3, oh, sorry, I've got 1x cubed, I've got no x squared, and I've got negative 3 of the x's. I guess that's 3 anti versions of the x's and 2 actual 1's. Oh, so that's the numerator. That's not, not too bad. I can actually represent this. And what we're looking for, dividing by x plus 2. What's x plus 2 look like? 1x and 2 1s. All right, so in division, we're looking for how many times do I see this pattern in that structure there? And this is where I would go gulp, because I don't see it at all. I don't see anywhere in this 1 dot x to 2 dots. I mean, they're too far apart. 1 dot x to 2 dots, 1 dot It's just not there. It's just not there. So it makes me think this problem can't be done. Oh, but I can have an epiphany. What we've done in the past was sometimes we could unexplode dots. So you take this guy and unexplode and get some solid dots in here, and maybe we keep unexploding all the way down. That'd be brilliant, except, remember, this is in an X1 machine, and I'm refusing to tell you what X is in my mind. Maybe X is 10. If I told you I was thinking 10, then you know how to draw 10 dots when you unexplode. But maybe not. Maybe X is 5 in my mind, I'm just not telling you. In which case, you have to draw 5 dots when you unexplode. The fact that I'm not telling you what X is in my brain, you don't have any dots to draw when you unexplode, therefore you can't actually do any unexplosions at all. Well, that really ruins things. All right, so it looks like this problem can't be done. It looks like everything I've been saying has just been uh, glorious and fabulous, only up to a small point. As soon as I've thrown negative numbers, we're doomed. But there's actually a lesson to be had here. Another epiphany will come. So if you stare at this for a while, and maybe this happened to you if you really mulled on this after the last lesson, that there's a good life lesson here. What do I want? I would love to see one dot next to two dots. I'd actually love to see two solid dots right there. So here's the life lesson in this problem. If there's something you want in life, just make it happen. I want two dots there. Now that's changed the question. So there might be consequences to my actions. So the consequence here is that, well, I can't just put in two dots willy-nilly. And that's changed the question. I have to counteract it by keeping this box empty, keeping this box zero. And I can do that by adding also two anti-dots. That is still nothing in that box. Brilliant. I mean, I don't know where it's going, but at least got me started because I can now see for sure exactly what I wanted. One dot next to two dots, all happening at that level. If I could unexplode, all the dots would be sitting right there. Grand. Brilliant. Is something in life you want? Make it happen. In fact, I can see two solid dots here. It looks like the end of this guy. I would love to see a solid dot in there because now I can at least do it again. Okay, great. Let's make it happen. I'd love to see a solid dot there. Counteract with an anti dot. Haven't changed the problem. And now I made a step further and got another group of what I'm looking for at the ones level. Uh, after that success, what we do now? Because now I don't see any solid dots whatsoever. Now I've got nothing but anti-dots. Anti-dots. Well, I could probably try to put some more dot anti-dot pairs in here, but I feel like the anti-dots are going to overwhelm this problem. Until I realize, look at this. Right there is one dot, one anti-dot, next to two anti-dots. That's an anti-version of exactly what I'm looking for. I'm seeing an anti-version, one anti-version at the x level. That is an anti of that group. And here's another anti of that group, again at the x level. So I've got, oh my gosh, that's actually all the dots. So I've got one actual group at the x squared level, two versions, two anti-versions at the x level, and one actual version at the ones level. It looks like the answer to this problem is x squared minus 2x, minus 2 at the x level, plus 1 at the ones level. And actually, if you check, multiply this guy by this denominator, x plus 2, do the arithmetic, out comes x cubed minus 3x plus 2, actually, it is actually right. Wow. Wow. Mathematics is a life lesson here. Something you want in life, make it happen, and deal with the consequences appropriately. Oh, awesome. So let's, uh, let's do another one. Uh, let's make the board smudgy. I um, seem to be saying that and doing that a lot in these lessons. Let's do one that looks like a visual nightmare. I'll go up a notch. If you look at the text that's under this video on the screen, there is a whole bunch of material there. It spells this out more slowly and appropriately. Take your time with it, have fun with it. Check the solution guide to go with this course. But now let's try a beast. 4x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 7x cubed uh, minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. Oops, I ran out of room. Hope you can still see that. Uh, let's divide that by x squared minus x plus 1. 
All right, if we can do this, we can probably do anything. All right, here goes. Let me draw this one, and I feel like I'm gonna need lots of boxes here, so let me just give myself lots of space. <sighs> Something like that. All right, four x to the fifths, so four actual x to the fifths. Two anti-versions of x to the fourth, seven actual x to the cubes, which I hope, done the, I hope I've done the right number of boxes, uh, four anti-x squareds, six actual x's, so if you can't read it, I've now got four s and one anti one. Oh, I did the right number of boxes. That is the numerator. We are dividing by this guy. And what does that look like? It looks like one x squared, one anti x, and one one. Grand. So our job is to find dot, anti dot, dots in a row in this picture. Can we do it? You bet we can. Uh, rather than just sort of a uh, draw loops that are gonna get very messy, let me do this. There's a dot, anti-dot, dot, triple, all in a row. It's more efficient, I guess. So there's one version we want to look for at that level. If I could, if I could unexplode everything, all the dots would be here at that level. Uh, there's another one, you bet. Dot, anti-dot, dot. It's another one at that level. That's grand. Um, I guess I'm being consistent. Let me just deal with from left to right. I, I feel like being systematic. There's something, you know, look, I've got dots, nothing, and dots again. I want anti-dots in here. In fact, I want to, Maybe an antidot to go with this first guy, and an antidot to go with the second guy. So, yeah, that'd be brilliant, because I have dot, antidot, dot, dot, antidot, dot, but I have to counteract that action with putting in some solid dots there, so that still hasn't changed the problem. So then I can keep going, brilliant. Dot, antidot, dot, dot, antidot, dot, two more at that level. Grand. Ooh, these guys. I wish there was some antidots there, and <laughs> I actually wish there was some solid dots there. Well, something in life I want? Make it happen. Here goes. I want two anti-dots there, and there are the consequences. I want two solid dots there, and there are the consequences. Because now I've got, maybe I'll do this in blue, dot, anti-dot, dot, dot, anti-dot, dot, two versions of what I'm looking for right there. Brilliant. Uh, can I keep going? Oh, you betcha. Let's go back to green, which I dropped my pen. Uh, dot, anti-dot, dot, dot, anti-dot, dot. There's two at that level. How am I doing? Oh, what am I doing here? Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, look, I've got some more dots. Dot, anti dot, 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 anti dot, whoops, dot, dot, anti dot, dot. Another three at that level. Huh. How am I doing? Oh, now it's confusing. What have I got here? I've got this guy left over, this guy left over, and that guy left over, and that's not what I want. Ugh. But, haha. -ha. It's an anti version of what I want. I want a dot, anti dot, dot, but I've got anti dot, dot, anti dot. That's a negative version of what I want. So I've actually got an anti version at the ones level. So I now see that the answer to this problem is, and I'll write it backwards. It's, uh, well, wait, these are the ones, these are the x's, these are the x squares, these are the x cubes. It is 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. Bingo. We can do it. Whoa. The fact that we could cope with something as visually ghastly as that with conceptual ease and a kind of fun like chasing a puzzle game is fabulous. I love this dots and boxes method. I admit, not good to write on paper, hard to do on paper, but with my brain, I've got this. This is so conceptually easy, makes so much sense, and I own this now. I actually own this, I've not memorized a thing. Algebra 2, polynomial stuff is, belongs to my brain. Brilliant. All right. So, look at the material that follows this. We've got some actually interesting applications here. For example, you can now prove, for example, that, I don't know, 2 to the 100th power minus 1 is not prime. In fact, you can prove that thing is divisible by 1,023. Whoa! And I just did that in my head. I actually hadn't thought of that problem until just that moment. So, read the text that is indeed on the screen below this video. Most people don't realize to scroll down. Everything's written there. In fact, I print out all the text as well in the companion guide to this course. So if you actually prefer a physical book, it's all there. If you have some more practice on polynomial stuff, people forget that in polynomial world, x can actually be a number. So if you start doing the actual choices for x, you can get some really cool results from number theory as well. Anyhow, loads of fun. Really go for it. Really revel in the delight of this. It is astoundingly beautiful. Thanks.